Lantana is a big problem for most of the forests across India and in many parts of the world, but no one really knows what to do about it. Forest departments have been trying to get rid of the plant for over a hundred years, but it has only increased its spread. So we at the Shola Trust thought that the first thing we needed to know was how many hectares or what area of the forests are taken over by Lantana to have a good map of its spread. To do this, we used an approximately one square kilometer grid overlaid onto Mudumalai, Bandipur and Satyamangalam Tiger Reserves and then walked or drove through touching every grid. Every 500 meters, we marked a waypoint on the GPS and did a visual assessment of the level of Lantana around, from no Lantana to 100% Lantana cover, where you can't even move through. After walking 2,500 kilometers, driving 1,500 kilometers and 5,500 waypoints, we made some interpolated maps. We found the extent of the Lantana is huge, about 30% of the forests are taken over by Lantana and only about 15% is Lantana free. So in these three reserves alone, what we are talking about is an area of 1000 square kilometers that has mainly Lantana growing in it and almost nothing else. Currently the management effort is to cut and uproot the plants in patches. You can't use JCBs and big equipment since that destroys everything else, trees and plants. The cost at about 25,000 rupees per hectare which is on the low side of what the forest department now spends, we're talking of 25 lakhs per square kilometer or 250 crores for just these three reserves. Or if you continue spending about 50 lakhs per reserve like we do now, it's going to take about 160 years to just clear the badly affected areas. So clearly there needs to be some other solutions for dealing with Lantana. The current effort should of course continue, but maybe change the focus to just a few key areas, like around water bodies along streams, uh, or tourism areas for better wildlife viewing, or patches of Lantana clumps in landscapes that are otherwise free of Lantana. But we think the better approach will be to try and find ways in which local people can use the plant. Making furniture out of it is one option that is being tried by a lot of people around the country. This is a good livelihood option for local communities, but it doesn't really take much lantana out of the forest and is not going to reduce the spread of the plant in the forest. So we need something at a bigger scale, and making briquettes is another option we're looking into. A shredder machine goes into the forest behind a jeep and runs off its engine, and the shredded lantana can be carried out and compressed into briquettes in a small village scale unit. Local people can then use these briquettes instead of fuel wood. Other options also need to be experimented with, making paper for example, or plywoods and extracting oils. All these we hope are things that people will want to try in the future.